Hello everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 25, and I'm doing a response video to Zort Riders' new toy nightmare. Uh, now then, I've got to admit, I had two figures in mind for this one when I thought about doing this. Uh, the first one was uh, Universe Ironhide, because that was a god-awful figure, um, but I can't find it, I don't know what I have. I actually thought I sold it years ago, but then I found it a few months ago in a box, so... I've still got it, but I couldn't get to it, and I'm not quite sure what I've done with it now. That was a bad figure. Um, but less said about that one, the better. Um, God, my ears are messing it. Uh, anyway, so we're going to talk about a figure that um, I really was excited about getting. Um, I first saw this figure on a leaflet of some old Japanese Transformers back in 1997, to my runner. Um, for the Master Force line or whatever it was, and it was a black Zarak, and I thought it was a black Scorpion to me, so I don't really can't remember if I remember the new name back then, but I really wanted it, and I didn't realise at the time how rare it was and all that jazz and all that. Uh, and then I went to my first ever convention, it wasn't really a convention, it was a meet up in Lithook, now near Southampton somewhere. <coughs> I think it's near Southampton, anyway. Uh, anyway. And one of the sellers was a bloke who actually lived in Japan, I think. Um, and he came over selling toys and that. And in the bottom of this box, as he was unpacking it, I saw this black Zarak and it was mint in the box and everything like that. And I just immediately said, yeah, I'll buy that straight off you. How much do you want for it? And you wanted like £200 for it. And I thought, yeah, all right. <laughs> it was about all the money I had. Um, I had to think I should go down a road and get some money out of the bank uh, to afford it. Yeah. Uh, but I really wanted it. Uh, and so... I got the figure home, and this is it. This is it in the box. And everything. I'm not going to take this out of the box because um, it's a pain to get out of the box. And the bits I want to show you, I ain't never moving again. Um, so anyway, so I got this home. Um, and again, I didn't know about all the gold plastic syndrome and everything like that. So I got this out of the box. I'm not a mint in the box collector. And no matter how much this costs me, usually. If I can get them out and get them back in, I'll get it out. Uh, because toys are meant to be played with at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong, I'll keep plenty in their boxes. <coughs> I know, and that's just because um, I love the packaging. I just love the packaging, love how it looks more than I know I'll get it out, transform it once and put it back. So I wait up. But if I can get it out and get it back in the box, I will. So that's why I got this guy out and I loved it. And I thought, wow, look at that, a black Scorponok. How cool is that? Now I'm going to prop it up on here. Put the rest of it on my shoulder and hopefully I'll be able to show you what happened. Now, as soon as I got it out of the box, I started messing with it. Um, I can't remember exactly which bit broke first, so I'm just going to go through the bits that broke. I think probably it was his shield here. Um, I got that out, put that on his arm, and it snapped straight away the little port bit that went on. Um, and I thought, ooh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, so anyway... Um, didn't think much on it. It's still stuck on his arm. It, you know, it hadn't broken it totally, but I thought, well, that's, that'll be fine. Put that away. And then I uh, got little black, uh, whatever his name is, Lord Zarek. I don't know what he's called in this particular toy, but I've got the little figure out. Now, they're notorious anyway for the arm snapping off. I've never had a problem that happened to me, ever. Got this little guy, moved his arm, snapped straight off, because it's all cold plastic, that figure. And I thought, ooh, <laughs> that's a bit bad, isn't it? She paid £200 for this. Um, so anyway, but a little bit of super glue, dabbed it back on, and I'm never moving those arms again. Um, and then probably the worst bit that uh, could have happened, I can't remember if it happened to anything, oh, I'm pointing the wrong one, uh, where the little guns, because they're all gold plastic, I can't remember if it broke any of those, I don't know. It would have been the inside, just where it tabs on. But the worst bit was on one of these feet, I can't remember which one. Pardon me. As you fold out the, the foot, it flips out. Uh, it put a lot of stress just around here somewhere and it cracked. Um, yeah, and but not enough for it to break. It just put this nice big crack along it. Uh, yeah, and so moving it was very, very dodgy. Um, I've, I've actually done a review on this where I've shown the cracks off and everything. And even moved it to transform it and that. Um, but I'll never move it again. I did actually fix that. I put some super glue along it, pushed it together. So hopefully that holds. I don't know. I'm hoping actually that maybe some company would make bits for this. I don't know, swap them out. I don't know. Because I would love it. It's such a great figure and it looks so cool. But just not to be able to display it properly is a real pain in the ass for me actually. 
Um, I've often thought about just getting a black, uh, sorry, a, a normal scorpion off and painting it black, uh, you know, and using the bits like the head, you know, because you can change the head out with scorpion off, no problem. Sound like that. I mean, you could easily do that. I mean, probably cheaper than this bloody thing it costs you now. Uh, yeah, so it's a bit of deflating, really, um, after doing all that, as soon as I've got it out of the bloody box as well. Because um, it is a cool toy. Um, and at the end of the day, toys are meant to be displayed. I can't even display the thing now. I'm so afraid of transforming it. Because obviously when it's in the box, it's slightly mistransformed. It's in its Scorpion mode. You could probably have it in Scorpion mode, but you want it in robot mode, didn't you? With his trident, his gun, and everything. Yeah, so it's a bit of a letdown. And it's, it's horrible when you've got a, a really nice thing and you can't display it. You don't want to mess with it. Yeah, it's, it's really annoying. So this was really a nightmare for me. As much as I love having it, it's also pain. But you just you just can't display it. I mean, look, mind you, it looks great. This box looks great. So <laughs> I'll just stick with the box. You know. Uh, <coughs> I mean, it's such a shame because it looks so cool. I love looking at it. I mean, I haven't had this. This has been at my mum and dad's for a while now. Um, this is the first time it's actually been here with me at my house. So it's really nice to have it here. And this is where it's staying. Anyway, this was my response to Zort Rider's uh, new toy nightmare. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, do a few more of these things. I'm actually thinking uh, of doing some live stream if my internet's up to it. I don't know, I haven't checked it out yet. Um, maybe one day, who knows. Uh, what's that like? I don't know what they're doing at the moment. Maybe some gaming, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, really. Leave a comment in the box. Anyway, right. This has been Graham, The Collector 75. I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.